All right, so you've had some time to steer this slide. Who can tell me where it's from? Anyone recognizes it? Well, it's taken from a Bjarne's keynote. So he said he wants to do just that. He wants to download some graphics 2D package, install it, and then write import in his code, right? So we have four minutes, 30 seconds. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, he, he skipped a couple of uh, steps. So the first one is where you actually find the package, right? So it would be nice to have some kind of repository, perhaps where you can search for some things. Um, well, we're not gonna do uh, graphics 2D. We only have four minutes left. Uh, we'll do a hello example, right? So we're looking for a modularized hello library. Right, let's search for it. Hey, look, someone actually wrote one. And if we scroll down, the two versions, one is in testing, the other one is in stable. Well, we're kind of conservative, so let's go with stable. There's a bunch of more information. One interesting or one important part is where this package lives, right? A, a URL for the repository. Okay, let's keep it in our keyboard. The other part that we are kind of skipped over is we actually need a place for our packages to live that where we store our configuration, for example, which compiler we use, uh, which options we use. So let's create that. And this looks a little bit cryptic, so we'll call it a Clang. Directory we'll call Clang. It's configured to build C++ and we'll use Clang as a compiler. Right? All right, so create our directory. So the next thing we do, we are gonna add that repository where our modularized hello library lives, right? Okay, next we do, we fetch the list of packages available in this repository. So there's some authentication, looks good. So five packages and we're gonna build it. Okay, so it depends on another library. It looks like a standard library modules. Well, building standard library modules takes a little bit of time. They're quite chunky. But once that is done, then it should be okay. All right. So if we look, oh, there, there's our library. Let's now go to our editor and write a little program. So you can see I type very fast. So here's the import declarations. We also import that std core for good measure. So write a simple build file. Um, pretty straightforward. Import the two libraries we just installed. And then we have a simple rule. Build us an executable from the hello source file and link those libraries. All right, so let's see how we can, so now we're gonna build this uh, library, uh, this little program in this configuration. Hopefully, you know, magically everything will work. So this is where our source lives. So we're building it in this configuration. Let's build it in the hello subdirectory. Okay. And there is our executable. And it even works. All right, we have one minute left, so let's try to build the, do the same for the Visual Studio compiler. Do you think we can do that? So I have this, what looks like a Visual Studio compiler. So I'm gonna just repeat all those steps. Let me go back to TMP. So for Clang, so we call the directory MSVC. Adding the repository, fetching the package. Building the library. And building our application. Okay. Hey, look, there's an executable. We can even run it. All right, eight seconds to spare. Thank you very much. <laughs>